Hi, I'm Jennifer with Sublimely Align, and today's alignment teaser is the head hang. This is really great if you have neck, shoulder, or upper back pain, and it's also wonderful if you use the computer a fair bit, if you text a lot, if you're on the phone quite a bit, or if you drive a lot, because all of these things tend to promote um, a neck and head alignment that we commonly call forward head posture. So I'm going to demo this for you um, because I can do it really well, unfortunately. And it looks something like this, where your head is out in front of your shoulder girdle. And you may even see the chin poke for computers, driving, talking to people in the coffee shop. Um, so what the head hang does is it essentially reverses this to start to rebalance the head and neck musculature. And this is really useful. If you have read um, the text neck articles that talk about the weight of the head as it translates forward and down in space, um, they have calculated that um, an average 10 pound head as it moves forward and down in space to text, you know that common position, can weigh up to 60 pounds. So imagine what that does to this um, head and neck musculature. So you don't need anything for the head hang. In fact, you just want to find somewhere to sit comfortably. You can also stand comfortably. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to cue you through this, so I won't be demoing it as much. Um, so just go ahead and enjoy and listen to my cues. So you're going to start by just nodding your chin toward your chest as far as you can go comfortably until you feel some sensation through the back of the neck. And you can go ahead and breathe there uh, a couple breaths. And then you're going to let, in that chin nod position, you're going to let the weight of the head just hang down. So you'll feel the same type of sensation, but a little more intense. Again, we're working at lengthening the back of the neck muscles, which are often in that short, shortened position if you spend a lot of time in the forward head posture. And that is your head hang, but you want to hang out there, so don't come up yet. You want to hang out there for 60 to 90 seconds, um, like you do with your other alignment teasers. But you can also add a little bit of movement, which is nice. Um, and all you have to do is maintain that nod and head hang. And then you're just going to sort of start to move your chin or rotate your head toward one of your clavicles or your collarbones to the point where you can't kind of go any further comfortably, so this should all feel nice. And then you can keep that position as you breathe. And you should feel, uh, or may feel, I should say, some more sensation through the opposite side of the neck. If you do this side, don't forget to do the other side. Um, and then for the first couple times, I'd recommend coming back to center to come up. But I'm going to cue you through coming up because there's one more piece. So the head hang is working on, oops, I'm on that lens on my prop. Uh, the head hang is working on lengthening the back of the neck musculature because of the chronic sort of shortening through the head posture. But we also want to be mindful of what's happening through the spine. So oftentimes what happens is that we move the spine instead of the neck. We sort of do this whole spine thing. So I'm going to have you put one hand on the sternum, and if you're not in your head hang, go ahead and nod your chin and hang your head. And then you can put the other hand on the back of the neck, keeping your ribs in place. So try not to move your rib cage. Try not to lift your chest. You want to try and reach the back of the neck, back in space, to tuck or I should say stack the head over the shoulders. And you will have a double chin, so if you have a double chin, you're doing this right. And then you kind of want to hold it there. You should feel again that stretch. And then you can go ahead and release. So this is awesome um, to do if you feel some tension coming on through the shoulder girdle. Um, even better, do it before you get tension in the shoulder girdle. And even better is to leave it um, through different times throughout the day so that you can start to see some real progress in balancing the head and neck musculature. So uh, give it a try and good luck with it. Enjoy.